It's Silage Harvest here in Ontario. It's just around the corner. And you know, with the weather conditions we've had this year, we've got some, some stressed out fields. So that begs the question, what do we need to do differently? Or is there anything we need to do differently for silage harvest? In a stressed field like this, what we're typically going to see is we are going to have some lower starch values. Uh, peeling back a few ears here, you can really see some tip back on the corn. So we are going to have some lower starch. Um, but with that lower starch, we actually do have some higher fiber in the plant. So we can still have some really good nutritional value. It's just we're going to maybe struggle a little bit tonnage wise. Another thing to consider is nitrates. With drought stress, we do typically have some nitrates that are lower in the stock, but that can be managed, you know, through fermentation, the ensiling process, that'll lower that nitrate load so that it is at a safe, acceptable level for livestock to consume. Um, and then I guess, you know, looking at chop height as well, um, some people might tend to want to chop higher because of that high nitrate load. But with drought stressed corn, you know, we already have reduced tonnage as it is. So maybe not wanting to chop too high, maybe just keep it uh, where we are, were originally for chop height, your target height. For tips on how to make some good silage, even in these droughty stressful conditions, check out the corn school.